Good afternoon. Yeah. Kailan start natin? So, nag-uusap-usap na sila. Good afternoon, guys. So, welcome. Wait. Nag-echo ako. Sorry. Nag-play yung YouTube dito sa kabila. End ko ta. Okay. So, basically, yan. Yeah. Shout out, shout out kay ano, kay Sed Arpia, yeah? dati kong estudyante. Hello sa mga dati kong estudyante from Adelina One National High School. Shout out kay Nicole Estonilo. Hello Nicole. Ito. Sa mga hindi ko pa kilala, shout out sa inyo lahat and I know na naririnig niyo yung background music ko. Back, sound effect lang yan, sound effect. Yung mga manok dito. <laughs> no, kuma time. Ano yan? Um... Mga alaga ko yan para maging lively ang ating live stream. Okay? So, hindi ko kayo nakalimutang ilibre. Don't worry. Kahit grade 11 kayo, you can still go to, ano, to Adelinawan National High School. By the way, um, again, let me introduce myself again. I am Mr. Eduardo Sigonsaga Jr. I am commonly known as Teacher Gon sa aking Facebook page at sa aking YouTube channel. And surprising, surprisingly, meron na tayong 22,000 subscribers. Okay. So, maraming salamat. Ito, papasalamatan ko yung mga bata. Uh, papasalamatan ko yung grupo ng mga grade 9 dati na sumuporta sa akin channel. Na para mag-grow ito at dumami yung aming subscribers sa yung aming watch hours. Okay. So, basically, what is the main reason bakit ako nagkaroon ng live streaming? para sa mga grade, grade 10 students. So, enough na muna tayo sana. Wala pa iba. So, bakit ako nagkaroon ng live streaming? Nakita ko kasi na, ano, uh, sa school pa lang namin, sa Adelina One National High School, lahat ng grade 10 namin are under ng modular class. Tama ba ako? Lahat kayo ay under ng modular? Parang wala sa kanilang nag-instruct or wala silang uh, teacher. Or ako kasi, isa akong grade 9 teacher, I am teaching grade 9 mathematics, syempre. And I'm teaching two online classes. And medyo naawa ako sa mga, naawa, sorry, that's the word. Naawa ako sa mga grade 10 students na wala silang, ano, wala silang teacher for them to, para, ano, para um, maintindihan nila yung mga topics na pinapasagutan sa modular, modules nila sa grade 10 mathematics. At nakita ko kasi, nakita ko kasi na yung kanilang, yung dati namin GC, ay na, parang ano, parang uh, na-stress sila, na-stress about uh, the modules. That's the story. And then, recently, I discovered na, ano, na ang daming grade 10 students na nangangailangan ng tutorials. Ang daming grade 10 students na nangangailangan ng tutorials. Kasi, isang beses nag-share ako, let me, you know, let me show this one to you. Nag-share ako ng, ano, ng aking uh, notes about arithmetic means. Later on, mag, ano, mag-tutorial tayo. Notes about arithmetic means. And surprisingly, nakita ko, ang dami nag-share ng isang note about arithmetic means. And then nakita ko, parang ito, pakita ko sa inyo. Uh, this is my page. You can follow this page or like this page. And you can also share this one to your friends. And then, ito, nagulat lang ako kanina. Kanina nakita ko yung mismong number of shares ng notes ko about arithmetic means. Ito, pakita ko lang ha. Pero mag-tutorial tayo later. Ito. Ito. I have this one. Ito. Yung notes ko about arithmetic sequence. Uh, it has 111 shares. Total shares. Sa, bo sa Facebook. And then after this, may nauna pati. Eh. Nauna kong i-post yung arithmetic means. And surprisingly, may, nagulat talaga ako. Uh, look at the number of shares. It has 9,000 shares na. Yung notes natin. Napakasimple lang. Actually, this one is a note. Ito yung note ko sa recorded video ko sa YouTube. Meron yan video. Okay, ayan o. Oh. So, kung iisipin natin mabuti, ang dami nag-share niyan. And commonly, ang nag-share niyan ay mga sudyante. And may mga teachers din at mga parents. Pero ba? you have 9K shares. Meaning, ang daming nangangailangan ng ganyang topic or ng ganyang discussion. ba notes pa lang yan. Wala pa yung mismo tutorial. So, I have decided na mag-conduct ng isang free tutorial 
uh, through my platforms. I have the YouTube and I have the Facebook. And then, sana sa next next week, next week, I can uh, do the live stream sa, sa aking Facebook, sa, sa, sa aking YouTube ng sabay. Tapos isa pa, nag-wonder din ako, merong mga Facebook group, ang mga grade 10 na kung saan nagtutulungan sila ng pagsagot ng modules. Sumali ako doon, sumali ako. Okay? So again, good afternoon sa lahat ng mga nandito at nanonood sa ating live stream. So, yeah. Though meron na tayong 10 viewers, I know na makikita ito ng mga, ano natin, ng mga grade 10 students natin. You can also share this, ano, this live stream sa inyong Facebook newsfeed. Okay? So without further ado, mag-start na tayo ng ating, ano, ng ating tutorial. So I have here the topic, arithmetic sequence. Yan. So you know, tapos na kayo rito. Diba? Tapos na yung karamihan sa inyo rito sa arithmetic sequence. Alam ko yan. Kasi ano, we are on the end of the second week. But, alam nyo ba, bakit ko, kahit tapos na to, bakit ko ini-insist na i-discuss yung topic na to? Kasi ito yung pinaka, ano, um, para sa akin, this is the root of all the sequences. Hindi naman kasi sinasabi na ito yung origin ng lahat ng sequence. Pero, so, sorry sa word, ang pinaka naisip ko kasi rito, pag na-master mo yung concept about arithmetic sequence, Again, pag na-master mo yung, yung topic ng arithmetic sequence at yung detail or every detail about arithmetic sequence, malalaman mo na or hindi ka na may hihirapan sa geometric sequence, sa harmonic, saka sa Fibonacci sequence. Kasi alam mo na yung pinaka-concepto ng sequence. Okay? So, I hope na ano... Mamiya, mamiya. Mag-uusap tayo, baby. <laughs> <laughs> May baby rito. Okay. So, nanonood pa ba kayo? Clear ba ako, guys? Clear ba ako sa ating, ano, sa ating... Oh, clear ba yung audio ko? Clear? Hello? Pwede bang may mag-comment sa ating, ano, sa ating live stream, sa ating comment section? Am I clear? Guys? Clear ba yung aking audio? Hello? Wala, hindi yata ako Clear? Hello ba? Hello? Ayo, yan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Cliff Andre Divine. Ay, shout out nga pala eto. Shout out nga pala kay Emmanuel Peña, kay Ma'am Peña and kay Ma'am Marisol Peña at lalong-lalo na kay Joshua Pen 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 Peña kasi birthday niya. Again, Meme, happy birthday. Okay, so let's start this. So what is arithmetic sequence? Basically, before natin puntahan yung mismo arithmetic sequence, kailangan alam muna natin yung mismo konsepto ng sequence. Diba? Look at my screen. Ah, diba, kita niya naman. Kailangan alam muna natin yung mismo konsepto ng sequence. Yan na po. We will talk about arithmetic sequence. Yan. So, what is a sequence? Sequence is a series of numbers, um, figures, letters that is forming a pattern. Anong importance ba't kailangan nyo matutunan yung uh, sequence? A lot of examinations nowadays sa mga senior high school e examination, and entrance examination, even college examination, at kahit sa mga examinations sa panagtrabaho kayo, importante na marunong kayo mag-recognize ng sequence kasi may mga lumalabas na items sa mga ganyang classic examinations. Okay? So basically, you need to remember, sequence is a series of numbers, letters, or figures that is forming a pattern. Tama po ba? So, let's move on to arithmetic sequence. What is arithmetic sequence? Yan. Arithmetic sequence. So, papakita natin dito ngayon. Let's have the numbers 2, 7, 12, 17. Tama ba ako? Yes. Um, 
22. Let me have this kind of sequence. I have 2, 7, 12, 17, and 22. So, given this sequence, hindi pa tayo sure if this one is an arithmetic sequence. Eh? Sabi ko dito, this one is a sequence. Ngayon, elaborate natin yung parts ng sequence. In this series of numbers, yung 2 natin, yung 2, 7, 12, 17, 22, are called the terms of a sequence. Alam naman natin yan, di ba? Terms of a sequence. Now, basically, since nauna si 2, this is your first term. First, sorry, mali pa yung spelling natin. Ito yung magaling sa spelling eh. First term. And then, syempre, alam natin na yung 7 ay yung second term. Yung 12, this is your third term. Yung 17, this is your fourth term. Yung 22, this is your fifth term. Okay? So, wow, meron agad. Without any question, meron nag, nag, ano, nag-volunteer. Sabi ni Garlic Bread, D is equal to 5. So ngayon, ito na. According to, sabi ko kanina, 2, 7, 12, 17, 22 is a sequence. Now, paano natin malalaman anong klaseng sequence siya? Sabi nga rito kanina, D is equal to 5. Diyan papasok ngayon yung ating tinatawag na common difference. So, yung iba, meron silang formula for the common difference, but pakita ko na rin sa inyo, your D is simply A sub 2 minus A sub 1. And then, yung D naman, from A sub 3 minus A sub 2. And then, another possible solution for the common difference ay yung 17 Ah, sorry. A sub 4 minus A sub 3. Yan yung formula na ginagamit sa common difference. Pero ako, ang ginagawa ko lang, ganito lang naman. So, araw lang inisip ko sa mind ko, you have 7 minus 5, minus 2. That will give you 5. Another thing, we have 12 Minus 7 is equal to 5. Another, let's have this one, 17 minus 12, it will give you 5. And then, last one, from 22, minus 17, it will give you 5. Ngayon, kung isang difference lang ang tinignan nyo, so for example, ang kinuha nyo lang ay 7 minus 2. Nakuha nyo 5. Huwag agad kayo mag assume na yun agad yung common difference. Bakit? Logically speaking, hindi siya magiging common difference kung hindi pare-parehas ang difference. Okay? So, kailangan mak makita nyo muna if ang dami bang pare-parehas na 5 yung differences nila. Therefore, saka lang kayo mag-conclude na ay, the common difference is 5. Meron ako nakitang comment about common difference sa mismong a tutorial sa YouTube. Ang tanong doon, Sir, kapag iba-iba po ba yung com pag meron po bang naibang common difference? Common difference na po ba yun? Medyo magulo yung tanong eh. Parang ang pinakain doon, Sir, paano kapag merong isang naibang difference? Uh, common difference po ba yun? So, ang sagot doon ay hindi. Hindi naman kasi magiging common yung, common yung differences na meron tayo kung hindi pare-parehas yung differences sa isang sequence. Sana clear tayo sa pagkuha ng common difference. So, I have here an example or activity na pwede niyong gamitin kasi uh, may tanong doon, Sir, what if um, what if negative na numbers? Sir, what if Sir, what if um, fractions na yung given? Ah, wait, may recognize lang rito. Let's have uh, the answer of Rehensha. Kahit walang tanong, meron siyang answer. According to Rehensha, um, sixth term is 27. Okay, good point. 
let me, you know, let me have that comment. Shout out kay Richard Rehensha. Okay? So, another thing, or another use of common difference, bukod sa mga formula na kailangan natin later, is magamit din natin common difference to find the next term. What if you are asked, uh, what is the sixth term of the arithmetic sequence, of this sequence? So, ang nagamit lang dito, Para makuha mo next term, according to Rehensha, the sixth term is 27. You will just add um, 5 to the last term, which is the fifth term. At magiging, ano siya, magiging 27. And, sir, what if we're asked to find the eighth term? To find the eighth term, basically, pwede nyo namang manumanuhin yung mismo ano, solution. 27 plus 5, that will give you 32. That is your seventh term. And then for the eighth term, 32 plus 5, that will give you 37. That is the eighth term. So, yun yung isa pang use ng common difference. Natulatuloy si Rehen siya about sa so comment niya. Okay? So, move on na tayo. Let's move on tayo. Sana lahat nakaka-move on. Sana lahat nakaka-move on. Okay. Eto na. Eto na. So, we need to find the missing terms in each arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, try nga natin. Let's have number one. We have 3, 12, 21. And then, we have three missing terms. Okay? I will read some comments here sa ating live stream. What are the terms? Dito, ano yung mga terms natin dito? What are the missing terms here? May sasagot ba? Oh, wala. Tulog yata sila. Okay, we have still 10, ano, 10 live viewers. Okay, wala sa mga sagot. Okay, ako na magbibigay muna for the first example. So, find the missing terms in each arithmetic sequence. So, Dito, ang key dito is for you to find the common difference. You have the given terms, 3, 12, and 21. So, ang gagawin mo lang naman, just find the difference for that. D is equal to 12 minus 3. That will give you 9. And another thing, D is equal to 21 minus 12. That is also 9. Ibig sabihin, ang common difference ay 9. So, meron nung sumagot. Let's have the answer of Jasmine Garcia. Sabi ni Jasmine, the answers are, or the missing terms are 30, 39, and 48. So, try natin na. Eh. When you add 9 to 21, that is 30. Okay? When you add 9 to 30, that will give you 39. At kapag nag naman kayo ng 9 sa 39, that will give you 48. Very good. Okay, palakpakan natin si Ana. Palakpakan natin si, si Jasmine Garcia. Okay. Nice, nice. Very good. Next, let's move on to item number 2. Ito na. Sir, meron na negative number. Nabasa ko sa mismong comment section ng aking mga YouTube videos ay medyo kapag mayroong negative number, nagiging ano sila. Nagi afraid na sila sa mismo sagot. Okay? So, let's try. Number two na tayo. Yes. Thank you, Motia. Ayan. Medyo nalate lang yung comment ng Motia. The common difference is 9. Let's move on to item number two. Sir, mayroon na negative. Paano natin hahanapin yung common difference? Same pattern. Same pattern. Ang mangyari lang, you have to find the common difference of 3 and 8. So, mangyayari dyan, 3 minus 8. Remember, ang pattern natin ni Paganto, ang natin movement natin. Second term minus the first term. So, simplifying this, that will give you negative 5. And try natin, yung isa rin. Baka hindi, hindi common. You have this one. So, you have D is equal to negative 2 minus 3. This one, this one will also give you negative 5. 
as a difference. So meron, ang common difference natin is negative 5. Okay? So ngayon, hi, John Clark Elika. Shout out sa'yo. Okay? So since ang ating common difference ay negative 5, mag-add lang kayo ng negative 5 sa negative 2. So dito, you have negative 7 for sure. And then negative 7 plus negative 5, your fifth term is negative 12. Ganun lang kasimple. Okay? So, I hope na nakuha niyo yun, ha? Sorry kung, uh, I hope na nakuha niyo yung item number 2 natin. Okay? So, ngayon, let's move on to item number 3. Teacher, yung item number 3, teacher gun, ay yung, term, yung first 3 terms na nawawala. Yung meron ay yung 4th, 5th, and 6th. Okay? Pansin niyo mabuti. Sir, paano yan? Same lang ba? Okay lang, okay lang. John Clark Elika. No, no worries about sa time. Ano, pwede nyo naman mapanood ulit yung, ano, yung, yung, ating, ano, yung ating live stream. So, sinong makakapagbigay sa, akin, makakapagbigay sa akin ng common difference ng 3? You can give me the common difference of, three, of number 3. What is the common difference? Meron ba? We still have time pa naman. Okay. Shoutout kay Sir Gomez. Tumatawag sa akin. Okay pa rin kahit negative, wow. Okay pa rin naman kahit negative talaga. Okay, the common difference daw is 4. Thank you, Jasmine. So, sir, paano yan? Paano kami magsisimula if the common difference is 4? Very good. The common difference is 4. D is equal to 4. Anong gagawin natin ngayon? Para mahanap natin, nag-move tayo. Wait lang. Ito po ah. Erase lang natin to. Yan. Paano nga ngayon natin mahanap yung mga terms sa item number 3? So di ba kung ang movement natin papunta rito sa left to right ay addition, ay addition, para mahanap nyo naman to, di ba ang nawawalan kasi ay yung first, second, third. Ang movement nyo ngayon dito ay pag ganito. From right to left. At ang gagawin nyo dyan is subtract nyo lang. Magiging 8. Wait lang, nag-move yung ating screen. Ay magiging 8 minus 4. So, ang third term natin is 4. Tapos, para makuha nyo naman yung second term, syempre, yung second term nyo present na 4 minus 4. That will give you 0. At yung ating namang first term, you have 0 minus 4. That will give you negative 4. So these are the missing terms of the sequence. Ganun na kasimple. Actually, uh, these items are from the modules. Na mga dating grade 10. Ginagamit ko lang. Okay? So let's have number 4. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out kay Miss Leon, Leonaline Tayon, Solving Math This is Three. Hello po. Uh, shout out sa inyo ma'am. Okay. So let's try. Let's try. Hmm. Try natin to wait lang. This is 30, 38, uh, 39. So, uh, sino ba ito? Si, ano, si John Clark Elico. Later on, uh, magpapakita ko ng fraction sa isang topic na under the arithmetic sequence. Elico, thank you sa iyong ano, concern. Okay? So, let's move on. Punta naman natin yung number 4. Sa number 4 natin, so, pag sinubtract natin yung 24, 
sa ka-19, abay daw yan na pala, hindi nyo na kailangan ihanapin yung difference ng lahat. Bakit? Uh, guys, dineclare na, it's already declared that each arithmetic sequence, isang difference na lang, enough na. For me, I think. Diba? So, ang gagawin nila lang kung yung difference ng 24 sa ka-19. Right? 24 and 19. So, the answer or your common difference is 5. So, ang gagawin mo para mahanap yung missing terms sa itong number 4 is 4 plus 5, that is 9. And 9 plus 5, that will give you 14. Yan yung common difference nila. Okay? So, another thing, number 5 tayo. Yes, thank you. Thank you po. Sabi niya, Miss uh, Leona Lin, the answer is 5. Okay? And then let's move on to item number 5. This is the last one about common difference and saka yung finding the missing terms in each arithmetic sequence. So ang gawin natin, for number 5, kunin mo yung common difference o yung difference ng negative 17 at saka negative 11. So that is neg minus negative 11. Dito marami nagkakamali. Ah. Marami nagkakamali sa sa mismong, ano, sa mismong uh, integer symbol. Ito kasi, mag-multiply kayo yung sign. So this one will become negative 17 plus 11. And then the common difference is negative 6. This is the common difference of item number 5. So ang gagawin mo yun dito to get the, the second term, add mo lang yung 13. Sige, A sub 2 natin, second term you have 13 plus negative 6. That will give you 7. So this is 7. Para naman sa third term, since meron ka ng 7, that is 7 plus negative 6. Gabiti mo yung common difference. So that is 1. And then for the fourth term, guys, for the fourth term, yan ang bilis ni ma'am. For the fourth term, you have here, for the fourth term, term, you have 1 plus negative 6. So, yun ang mangyayari. So, mangyayari nga dito, your a sub 4 is not other than negative 5. This is negative 5. So, I hope na sa slide na to, or sa part na to, hey, you're grade 6 only? Wow! Shout out kay John Clark Elico na grade 6 lang. Guys, you're ready na know how to do arithmetic sequence. So, tuloy lang natin. So, meron pa mga nanonood. We still have nine live, sub live streamers. So, tuloy lang natin. Let's move on to this one. Ito na. So, next topic natin under arithmetic sequence ay yung nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So, again, nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Now, as you can see, ano ba yung purpose ng nth term of an arithmetic sequence? Let's try number one. Find the 12th term of the sequence for, I thank you, thank you. Uh, find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. You have find the 12th term of the arithmetic sequence 2, 4, 6, and 8. Ang pinapahanap sa atin dito is yung 12th term. 12th. Basically, you can, ano naman eh, you can do this manually. Again, you can do this manually. But imagine, what if, given the sequence, you will be asked for the 100th term. Diba time consuming? Diba it will take time for you to find the 100th term. Okay, very good. Si ma'am... Uh, Leon, Leonalin. Sabi niya, the answer is 24. Let's try. So, anong formula natin in finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence? We are asked for the 12th term. Basically, the formula you will be using is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Yan. Times d. So dito, um, sabi nila, yung a sub n natin is, the la is considered as the last term. Kasi yun ang pinapahanap. And then, yung a sub 1 natin, it stands for the first term of the sequence. At yung n natin, yung n, that will serve as the number of terms na pinapahanap 
kung hanggang saan yun lang yung term na hinahanap natin. And then yung din natin, so basically, this is your common difference. Okay? So 200, wow. Bilis naman yung garlic bread. So dito, so basically guys, grade 10, hindi naman kailangan sobrang galing para ma-overcome ang arithmetic sequence. Again, hindi kailangan sobrang galing. Tamang tsaga-tsaga lang sa pag-solve. Manually, okay na. Okay? So, we have here, so, ano bang unay natin? Given the sequence, yung a sub 1 natin, kailangan, alam muna natin yung value nito. a sub 1 is equal to 2. Kasi siya yung una eh. Siya yung first term natin. And then, yung n natin, sir, paano yung n? Parang hindi namin alam yung n. Yung n nyo, nandun na mismo, Nandun na mismo sa, ano, sa term na pinapahanap, 12 term. Meaning, kung ano yung term na pinapahanap dyan, that is the value of n. Your n is equal to 12. Okay? And then, after this, syempre kailangan mo rin ng common difference. So, analyzing this given sequence, you have the common difference of 2. Because 4 minus 2 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. And, yan na, ready na yung ating A sub 1 and, and D. So, ang gagawin nyo ngayon dito, basically, ito, you have A sub 12. Kasi yung iba nag-solve sila, hindi nila pinapalitan yung N. Hindi nila pinapalitan yung N dito. So, ako, I will prompt you to substitute the value of N. You have A sub 12 is equal to your first term, which is 2, plus your n, 12 minus 1, times the common difference of 2. And kailangan nyo simplify Kailangan marunong din kayo sa order of operations. You have a sub 12 is equal to 2, plus your 12 minus 1 is 11 times 2. Ito ha, ba may magkamali sa inyo, gawin nyo 2 plus 11, mali yun. Ang unahin nyo is ito. Siyempre, M does, diba? You have 11 times 2, you have 22. So, A sub 12 is equal to 2 plus 22. And this one, and this is your 12th term of the sequence. The answer is 24. Diba? Yung iba, ang bilis nila mag-solve. Mag ah, pwede rin yan, pwede. Yan. Ultimate formula. <laughs> okay. So, let's have the other example. Try natin, eh. I will allow you to do this. Yan, try nga natin If Kaya ng ating mga live viewers Na hanapin yung 26 term Okay Mag-focus muna tayo guys Sa number 2 Yeah. Uh, I will give you Let's say 7 minutes To solve for number 2 Hindi lang pwede si teacher gun yung mag-solve So let's have this Okay. Again, you will be using a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Again. Sa mga nag-live stream pa rin sa atin. Tuloy lang po tayo. Let's see. If you can still answer this problem. May negative na. Meron kayang magsasolve sa ating mga live viewers. Uh, so okay. Kailangan nyo mahanap yung ano ha. Oh, thank you Lawrence. Pati mga grade 6 na nanonood na ating live stream. Shoutout sa mga grade 6. Uh, salamat nga pala sa inyong mga lola, mami, daddy, tito, tita, ate, kuya, at lalong lalo sa inyo. Kasi grabe, yung isang uh, topic ko about fractions sa YouTube ko is umabutan ng 130,000 views. May get. Thank you. Shoutout kay, na shoutout kay Lawrence. Shoutout kay Lawrence. Yeah. Okay, so we have an answer. Meron tayong sagot na ano. Yan. Number two muna tayo, number two. 
Number two, yung mga grade 10 natin, our pressure siguro. Naunahan pa yata tayo ng mga grade 6 mag-solve. Papatalo ba kayo? Okay. So, try natin ha. Uh, your A sub 1 is basically negative 3. Nasa, oh, nasa, nasagot na nga ni ma'am eh. Nasagot na ni ma'am. And then your N, syempre is 26. Your common difference, try natin, you have negative 6 minus negative 3. Your common difference is negative 3. Right? This is your common difference. So, pwede natin i-substitute yung values ng variables natin. Okay. So, you have your A sub 26 is equal to negative 3 plus the quantity of 26 minus 1 times negative 3. Okay. And then simplifying this one, you have negative 3 plus 25 times negative 3. I hope na tama yung sagot ko kasi nakakaya magkakamali pa ako rito. Ayan, hindi para sinasabing tama o kaya hindi kaya... Ayan, yan. <laughs> Nagkakaintindihan sila. So simplify natin, you have negative 3 minus 75. So the answer is negative 78. Tama ba negative 78, guys? Ayan, very good. Ganun talaga yun, mabilis naman ma. Negative 78 is the correct answer. Okay. So how about the next one, number 3? Okay, number... You can screenshot yung solution natin para makita niya mabuti. How about number 3? So fraction na eh, fraction. Fraction. Find the 20th term of the sequence 1 over 8, 1 fourth, 3 over 8, and 1 over 2. Kung mabilis-bilis ka mag-solve dito, you can easily identify the common difference. Isipin natin mabuti, um, ano yung pwede natin i-add sa 1 over 8 para maging 1 fourth? Diba? Parang ganun lang. So try natin. You have A sub 1. Your A sub 1 is 1 over 8. So, paano yung ating n is equal to 20 kasi 20th term. Eh, paano ngayon yung common difference? Okay, very good. The common difference is 1 over 8. Sir, paano natin nakuha yung 1 over 8? Sa mga nahihirapang maghanap ng common difference at kapag ang given ay yung mismong, mismong fraction, ang gagawin nyo lang, same pattern, 1 fourth minus 1 over 8. So, kunin mo lang yung LCD, you have 8. 8 divided by 4, which is 2 times 1. That will give you, divide, multiply. It will give you 2. Minus 8 divided by 8, that is 1. Times 1, that is 1. So, subtracting your numerators, that will give you 1 over 8. So, this is your common difference. Uh, list common denominator. Dehensya. Yung tawag na list common denominator. So, gamit yung ating formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So, ang gagawin nyo dito, you have a sub 20. Para mahanap si a sub 20, you have 1 over 8 plus the quantity of 20 minus 1 times your common difference, 1 over 8. So, sa mga nahirapan, ano lang natin, may mga sagot na sila eh. Pakita, para pakita pa rin natin sa, sa mga kasama natin sa, sa live stream natin. Simplifying this one, you have a sub 20 a sub 20 is equal to 1 over 8 plus 19 times 1 over 8. And simplifying or multiplying the fraction, numerator to numerator tayo, a sub 20 natin, that will give you 1 over 8 plus 19 over 8. Now, sunod, we have 19 over 8. So, simplify lang natin yan. Since common yung kanilang denominator, madali na lang yan. Ang maging a sub 20 nyo, wait for a while, ang inyong a sub 20 is none other than 20 over 8. Or, simply, 
Huwag niyo kalimutan na ha. It's still simplify fractions. That is um, 5 over 2. Yan yung sagot natin. Tama ba ako 5 over 2? Yes. Both 20. Yes. Kinuha ko nga sa module ta. <laughs> Yan. Kinuha ko. Kasi alam ko naman tapos na kaya. The answer is 5 over 2. This is the answer for item number 3. Kinuha ko kanina sa module. Okay. <laughs> Tukot na yung bigla. Okay, we still have 6 live viewers. Okay lang yan. This is the first first session. Don't worry. I will be doing this live stream every week. And kung kaya, twice a week, ipilitin ko para na... Habang kayo yung nagsasagot ng inyong mga modules, ay nakakatulong ako sa inyo. Pero, 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 pero. Pero, um, hindi ko gagawin na um, kukunin ko yung mga items sa module. Hindi ko gagawin yun na, hindi ko gagawin na mag-cheat tayo. Ang gusto ko, ituro sa inyo yung concept. And then, siyempre, guys, you need to apply you apply the concept na natutunan na sila sa live stream natin. And hindi pwedeng sasagutan natin yung modules niya. Kasi ano yan, ah, baka mabantay sa YouTube. <laughs> baka reklamo tayo. Okay? Hindi, pati ano, um, hindi ko gusto na, ano, na ituro sa inyo yung mga sagot sa mismong questions sa modules. Ito kasi, alam kong tapos na to. Kaya ako binibigay. Wow, nakakatawa naman itong ano, itong comment ni, ano, ni Lawrence Montilla. Teacher Gawin, pinapasabi ng mga kla klase ko, ang galing mo magturo. Salamat daw po. Paano nangyari? Paano nangyaring, paano nangyaring, ano, nalaman ng mga classmate mo, ang galing ko magturo? Are they watching right now? Lawrence Montilla? Are they watching right now? Ay, comment med Hindi ko naisip kung paano. Ay, ikaw ba yung grade 6? Lawrence ba yung grade 6? Okay. Yan. Ayan na, clarify lang natin. Hindi ko tuturo sa inyo yung mga sagot sa modules. Kasi ano yan, uh, be, ano na siya, um, taliwas na siya sa aking paniniwala. <laughs> Kailangan yung i-apply na tutulan niya sa mismong mis mis live stream natin. Okay, thank you. May mga nanonood pa rin sa atin. Wow, thank you po sa inyo. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Napasabdo bigla si ma'am. <laughs> Sabi ng mga classmate ko last year Pinapalabas mo daw sila Wait, imute ko lang yung microphone Yan. Ang gano'n tayo? Mag-livestream tayo ng pang grade 6. Lawrence, mag-livestream tayo. Pinapangako ko yan sa iyo. Kung gusto, kung ano nga, kung kaya, kung kaya, ano eh. Grade 5 hanggang senior high school sa college. Si kaso nga lang, hindi, hindi na kaya ng time. At hindi na kaya ng katawang lupa ako. Okay, so we have here, guys, the fourth example or fourth one for the end term. Okay, let me ask someone to solve for this. Parang nagtuturo lang ako sa ano klase. Ang sinasabi ko, Ana, magkakaroon pa rin tayo ng live stream. Sasabi niya, Ana, sana may grade 6 naman. Yes, I will, ano, I will do that. Okay. Na Nakamute pala ako kanina, sorry. Wow, thank you naman, idol. Idol agad, idol. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, yan na. How about the end term of the arithmetic sequence? Paano yan? Guys. Fast mo. Sige, fast break. Oh. Paunahan tayo. Find the 16th term of the sequence. 15, 25, 35, and 45. Ang makakauna, meron sa akin, meron sa akin shout out sa next video natin. Yun lang ang kaya ko. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wala tayo. Ang galing ni Mamano. The answer is 165. 
Paano ba yan, Sir Garlic Bread? Naunahan na tayo ni Miss Leon... Leonalin. Tayo na eh. Tayo natin eh. <laughs> Grabe. Grabe naman yun. <laughs> Ayan, try natin uh, to verify whether the answer is correct. Ay, by the way, Ma'am Leon... Leonalin, are you a teacher po or a parent? Ma'am, can you please answer sa ating comment section? Okay, try natin eh. So, the common difference... Uh, the value of a sub 1 or your first term is 15, right? Your n is 16, and then your the common difference is simply 10 because 25 minus 15 is 10. Now, using the formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Yan na po. Times d. Uh, makukuha natin ay a sub 16 Tapos yung a sub 1 may 15 times 16 minus 1 times 10. So you have a sub 16 is equal to 15 plus 15 times 10. Multiplying these two numbers, it will give you 150. So you have a sub 16 is equal to 15 plus 150. So the 16th term is 165. Now, very good si ma'am. Very good si ma'am, eh? Hindi po ako teacher. I am a mother. I love math, but I chose to be a nurse lang. Wow. I'm privileged to be and to be watched by a nurse. A nurse. Thank you, ma'am. Grabe si ma'am, a nurse, oh. Si mga sadyante ko yan. Ito, ma'am, by the way, si Garlic Bread, si Rehensha, those are my previous students. And still, sila ay mga sadyante pa rin sa school namin. Sila nga lang ay grade 10. Kaya nga eh, di ba ang galing ni ma'am? She's a nurse, pero, di ba? She's doing good sa sequence. Pero ano eh, um, guys, sa sequence, walang problema kasi ano eh, parang kapag maalam ka naman sa sequence, parang maganda to bilang general knowledge. Okay? So by the way, guys, ano eh, let me inform you, hanggang 6 lang ako kasi meron pa akong tutorials. Meron pa akong tutorials and then later on, no, Ren, siya ano naman, pwede pa kayo makipag, ano, makipag-communicate sa ating live stream. Uh, by the way, if you still have time, you can share this live stream para na yung mga students natin na grade trend ay mapanood din to kahit, ano, kahit replay na lang. Sila yung mga tinatawag nating team replay. Okay? So, ang nga pala, um, maybe next week, I will be inviting some students to be with me. Sa, live, sa aking live stream. Okay? So, na natin. My last topic is all about arithmetic means. Ito lang kasi yung kaya ng hanggang 6 o'clock. Sorry, guys. So, arithmetic means saya. This is my last topic. Sabi dito, insert four arithmetic means between negative 1 and 14. Again, insert four arithmetic means between negative 1 and 14. So, basically, wait lang po, i-mute ko lang yung aking microphone. So, basically, guys, when you are asked for the arithmetic means, sa akin, eh, hindi kasi ako sobrang galing sa math, ang ginagawa ko, sabi dyan, find, uh, insert four arithmetic means between negative 1 and 14. So, ang ginagawa ko rito, I am reimagining re the the sequence. Unang term mo is negative 1. Siyempre, i-consider mo yung last term mo ay yung 14. Siyempre. So, mag insert ka after ng negative 1, you will be putting 4 spaces, 4 blank spaces. Para saan yan? Para may isip mo, Ito kasi magiging clue mo kung ilan yung terms na meron ka. Makakatulong sa ito kung ano yung term, ilang terms na meron ka. Para malaman mo yung n. Okay? So, mangyari dito ngayon ay ilalagay mo ngayon yung 14 as your last term. So, basically, still the formula na gagamitin natin is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So,
So mapapansin nyo, pinakailangan natin hanapin dito ay yung common difference. Si ma'am na mayroong sagot si ma'am eh. Yan, may sagot na si ma'am. So, ano yung, meron kayo, ano, ano yung mga clue na, clue na meron tayo sa given natin? So, since ang ating last term ay 14, meaning your A sub N is equal to 14. Yung N mo, is bilangin mo, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 terms. Your N is equal to 6. Meaning, your A sub 1 is equal to negative 1. So, yung letter D na lang, or yung D na lang yung variable na wala tayo. Try natin na ha. So, your A sub N is 14. Yan. So, 14, and then A sub 1 mo is negative 1, plus the quantity of 6 minus 1 times your D. Wala ka pang D. So, you have 14 is equal to negative 1, plus 6 minus 5, that's 5. So, you have 5D. And then, ito transpose natin sa kabila. That will give you 14 minus, ah, sorry, plus 1, right? So, it become positive is equal to 5D. And then, simplify lang natin to You have 15 is equal to 5D. And divide that in by 5. So, your D is equal to 3. This is your common difference. Since alam mo na yung common difference nyo, di ba kanina sa ating first part ng ating discussion, yung common difference nyo, it will give you a guide. Ano ba yung next term natin? Meron tayong first term, eh, di ba? Meron tayong first term. So, ano yung first term natin? So, ang gagawin mo lang, you have negative 1 plus 3 para makuha mo yung second term o yung tinatawag natin A sub 2. You have negative 1 plus 3. That will give you 2. Tama? So this is 2. O ngayon, uh, pwede natin gawin ng ano, simple solution lang. 2 plus 3, that will give you 5. And 5 plus 3, that is 8. 8 plus 3, that will give you 11. That Those are the four arithmetic means between negative 1 and 14. So, ang galing ng mga, ano, ng mga viewers natin. So, you have, ayan, nasagot ni Ma'am Leonaline, you have 2, 5, 8, and 11. Very good. At rin, si garlic bread din. Ayan. So, let me give you the last one. Ayan. Now, who among you here can solve Sa ating mga live viewers, insert three arithmetic means between negative 16 and negative 8. So again, it will help you. Isulat nyo muna yung parang sequence natin. You have negative 16 plus maglagay tayo ng three blank spaces. Bakit? Meron ka kasi ritong pinapahanap na arith three arithmetic means sa gitna. So you have second, third, fourth, and yung fifth mo is negative so, who can solve, guys? Yan. Okay. Using the formula, A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity of N minus 1 times D. Meron na kayo may sagot, guys? Okay. Okay, D is equal to 6. Sabi ni Ma'am Leona Lin. Try natin, ha? So, you have here your A sub N, yung last term natin, which is negative 8. Yung ating N, syempre, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Your N is equal to 5. Your A sub 1, yung unang term natin is negative 16. Check natin, ha? Meron siyang sagot na D is equal to 6. Substitute natin yung values. You have here negative 8 
is equal to your first term negative 16 plus the quantity of n minus 1. Oh, sorry. We have 5 minus 1 times d. So negative 8 is equal to negative 16 plus 4d. So transpose natin sa kabila. This will give you negative 8 plus 16 is equal to 40. And then simplifying this one, this will give you this will give you 8 is equal to 4d. Okay lang po. Kahit pagkamali. So, i-correct na po natin. So, you're, you're going to divide it by 4. By 4, cancel natin. Yung d natin is none other than 2. Ito yung common difference natin. Guys. Your d is 2. So, para maanap natin yung mga remaining sequence, yung remaining terms sa ating sequence, you have this negative 16. Yung a sub 2 natin is equal to negative 16 plus 2. I-add lang natin. That will give you negative 14. So, negative 14. So, yung a sub 3 natin is negative 14 plus 2 is negative 12. Okay, very good. And then, a sub 4 is equal to negative 12 plus 2. It will give you negative 10. So this is negative 10. Meaning, the three arithmetic means between negative 16 and negative 8 are negative 14, negative 12, and negative 10. I hope na sa series na to, sa ginawa natin ito, ay natutunan niyo yung, yung concept about arithmetic sequence, common difference, common difference, yung nth term of the arithmetic sequence at yung arithmetic means. Actually, hindi ito kaya talaga ng isang oras eh. Itong discussion na to. Okay? So, maraming salamat sa inyong mga ano. Maraming salamat sa ating mga live viewers. Ay, tinatanong ni Mama na, ni Garlic Bread. Mentally lang ba ang pagkasob niyo, ma'am? Yan. Guys, ano, um, Wow. Galing. Galing, galing, galing. She's doing it. Sabi niya, ma'am, Brain exercise lang. Tanggal stress ba? Para hindi masyadong tatanda. Hehe. Hi, ma'am. Galing na, ma'am. Sobra. Okay. So, I know this session is just the session, session one. And I will try to cover and I will try to do live stream from grade 5 to senior high school. At kung kaya college, syempre, try natin kung kaya ng time. And maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. So, sana sa mga nanonood sa atin, don't forget to like and subscribe para lagi kayo updated sa ating mga future uploads. Tapos, huwag nyo na rin kalimutan na i-click nyo yung ating uh, bell button. Simple yung ano, simple request lang. So, by the way, sa ating mga live viewers, baka possible na hindi nyo pa, hindi nyo pa na follow yung ating page. I have here my Facebook page. Sorry, loading. Yan. I have here my Facebook page, which is, ang pangalan niya ay Matt Teacher Gundam. So, I hope na kayo ay mag-follow. And I want to know, I want to to know more about Ma'am Leona Lynn. Grabe. This is my page, Ma'am. You can put some message here. This is my page. You can search for the Matt Teacher Gun. Same name lang po na ating YouTube channel. Wow, salamat po ma'am. <laughs> salamat po ma'am. Leon, Leon Alin. Okay. Yan. You can, allow, you can also follow at, us at Matt Richard on Facebook page. So again, it's already 6. It's already 6. Mag-message po kayo doon for me to know who you are po talaga. So. Well, thank you sir Joseph. Sir Joseph Pelayo. Yan. Salamat po. And then, yan. thank you po, Ma'am Leonaline. Yes, ano, I'm trying to do the math po ng mas madaling maintindihan ng mga bata. Kasi, ano eh, parang, um, I can do English 
tutorials pero parang ano parang naging hindrance po yun para mas madali matuto, matutunan ng mga bata yung yung ano, mismo tutorial ko so uh, tsagayin nyo na yung taglish natin okay so I hope na kayo ay nasatisfy sa ating or natuwa at natuto sa ating live stream and don't forget to share our Facebook page our YouTube channel sa ating mga kakilala friends and even families para ano para marami tayong nakatutok dito. And by the way, uh, there are different there are so many Filipino teachers or educator, math educators who are doing this kind of thing, doing uh, doing math tutorials. Huwag po nating kalimutan na i-follow din sila kasi magaling ang dami magagaling magturo. Ang dami magagaling magturo na YouTube channel. Ako ano lang ako eh, simplihan lang tayo rito. Okay? So again, maraming salamat po sa inyo. This will be the end. I hope na kayo ay natuto sa ating live stream. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. And next week, see you next week, I will be doing my live stream. At mag-a-announce din po ako. Mag-a-announce din po ako ng next schedule natin, hindi lang sa grade 10, ng mga tutorials. Again, I am Teacher Gone. Maraming maraming salamat. And God bless. Bye-bye. Apa itu? Apa itu?